So I can't exactly pinpoint what my worst show has been ever, but I can tell you within the past uh, summer of, of playing gigs and stuff, I've had some incredibly bad luck. So um, I've had two amps break on me mid-show. I've had a string of bad cables, even a bad guitar. Um, Les Older let me borrow his Stratocaster for a show because mine broke halfway through. Just stopped making sound. So, um, but what have I learned from this? Well, to always bring backup equipment. So now I travel with two extra cables. Um, if I'm driving farther than half hour, hour away, I'm bringing an extra guitar and an extra amp and just... Uh, making sure that my equipment is tip-top shape, basically. So I don't generally give out private lessons when it comes to technique or music theory or anything like that. The way I think I've helped out most of my musician buddies comes from like the uh, technology side of things, where um, I have like a pretty good understanding of PA systems, how to set them up and stuff, and and guitars and amplifiers and effects boards and, and all that sort of stuff. So um, just trying to help people understand all that stuff to to actually let them express themselves fully, you know, because it's hard to to do what you want to do in the way you want to do it when you everything doesn't sound the way you think it's going to sound, basically, you know. So I do collaborate with other artists. Um, a lot of times it's just random collaboration, like Hannah Rose and I will get together and write a song and usually it's just a lot of improvisation and then just like she'll record the whole thing and figure out what works from there and then we'll just keep on building on that idea. Um, I've also worked with like Ryan Clark in the past and he shows me a song or we're just messing around like a, like the idea for Funky Town. We were just, we were literally just messing around you know, just joking around, drinking one night, and uh, recorded Funky Town, and, and now it's actually a song turned into a whole album. Um, I also get together with, like, Andy Samowski sometimes, and we'll just go over, like, you know, we won't really collaborate and work on mo new material, but we'll go over, like, old country songs and just jam out and just, you know, learn a lot from each other, basically. So I don't normally sing in the shower. I might like vocalize or like whistle or something, but uh, most of the singing that I do is generally in the car. And as for what songs I do sing, it changes all the time. Right now I'm going through like a heavy, heavy old school country phase. So like a lot of like Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, George Jones, stuff like that. And then um, a little bit of new country too, like a little bit of like Tyler Childers or Childers. Um, you know, just... Changes all the time. So my plans for the next coming months are to practice, record, and just really hone in my skills and prepare all my gear for next year. Um, I will be going to the studio with Why Not in October. And, you know, I'm just going to see what else I can conjure up and... This ain't your beach no more. Get off on my beach. This ain't your beach no more. Get off on my beach. Pick sand off of the floor. Put it back on the stage. This ain't your beach no more. Right to the front. Fair and square. You gotta shake a little. You gotta fake a little. You gotta take a little. Just to make a little.
your life away Breaking your back for pay Just to have them take Boy, the end you could be happier No one is happier Head in the sand This ain't your beach no more Fair and square.